Hello, this is Vern. And if you are cool as a cucumber when you connect with guys that you're not interested in, but as soon as you meet a man that you're attracted to, you get weird and awkward. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to feel confident and stop doing that once and for all. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious women how you can attract the man you want and enter the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques. Now, if you fall into the category of women I described earlier, where you get really weird and anxious when you connect with a man that you deem awesome, I want you to, as a step number one to stop the projection. And here's what I mean. For you to feel anxious, for you to feel shaky about connecting with a guy that you feel attractive, you have to imagine myth magical, mythical qualities in him that may not be true. You basically complete the sentence. If you have three things, then this guy must be, and you complete the picture in a way that may not be true. So stop the projection means you're going to say, I have no idea who this guy is. Despite appearances, he might be someone completely different from the way he shows up right now. And I want to find out who he is before I imagine him uh, as a deity and put him three steps above me. If you feel weird about him, you're probably putting him in a pedestal of some sort, and I want you to, for a second, take a deep breath and say, okay, I have no idea who he is, let's find out the truth first. Number two, I want you to flip the question. What does that mean? Typically, when you find yourself feeling anxious or feeling insecure around a man, you're asking the question subconsciously in your brain, what does he think of me? Does he think I'm pretty? Does he like me? Does he, I mean, what, does he want to see me again? And instead of doing that, I want you to flip the question to where you ask yourself, would I want to see this guy again once I get to know him? Keyword, once I get to know him. Right now, initially, you might say, yeah, of course I'd see him again. Once I get to know him, will I really want to see him again? What are his values? What are his morals? What is his life about? What is he into? Is he the type of man that's intense and open? Or is he superficial? Is he a player? You have no idea who he is, so flip the question and you evaluate him versus feeling like he's evaluating you, and if he were to choose you, you'd be so lucky. <laughs> Number three, sounds simple, but I'm gonna share something with you right now that is maybe small percentage, 5% uh, type situation where 5% creates a big difference in your life. Remember who the hell you are, okay? Focus on your strengths, focus on your wins, focus on your greatness, focus on the light that you bring to the table, focus on the specificity of your own uniqueness that makes you, for the right fit, an awesome human being. So remember who you are, focus on your strengths instead of focusing on the things that you may not be great at or the two extra pounds that you feel you gained last week. Focus on your strengths. That's the most important thing. When you connect with someone, shine your light in a way that is more directly connected to your strengths versus your weaknesses and your fears. Number four, reconnect to your light. Why do I say this? Because when you reconnect to your light, when you connect, instead of asking the question, does he like me, you focus on what you're grateful for. When instead of focusing on, does he find you attractive, you remember the attractiveness inherent in you. When you sing, when you dance, when you smile, when you take a deep breath, when you become fully present and stop projecting into the future, you're reconnected to your light. That light, my dear, is the strongest force to create powerful punch in the stomach, in the heart in this man that will make him either say, I want to see you again, give me your number, I can get enough of this energy, or huh, not interested, uh, you, you seem to be a possible friend category, put you in the friend zone or something. So reconnect to your light and shine from that place. Number five, stop the scarcity talk. <laughs> what does that mean? In addition to asking the question, does he find me attractive, does he think I'm cute, and questions that are very disempowering when you connect to a guy, you probably also say to yourself, it's been so long since I connect to a guy of this caliber, I never connect with guys like this. Oh my God, the last five guys I've connected with have been dogs. So when you ask, when you start talking to yourself this way, scarcity talk, then this guy becomes all the more exciting to you. It's like you're in the desert and there's no water and you've been for, I mean, without water for two weeks and then you take whatever comes to you. When you recognize that the more you reconnect to your light, the more you remember who you are, the more you flip the question, the more opportunities you create, the more options you'll have, the less you have to feel like the, that one guy that showed up that seems so amazing is your only choice. Which leads me to my last point right now. You need to create more options. 
I've connected with so many women who reach out saying, hey, Bern, I'm just not connecting with enough men. And when I ask them, what are you doing to connect with more men? Nothing. They're going to work or they're working from home. They maybe go to the grocery store once a week, don't smile at anyone. So you need to create more options. The more options you create, the more opportunities you create for yourself in terms of starting conversations, being where guys hang out, <laughs> uh, being open to both on and offline, the less you'll have to fear that the one dude that shows up that you feel attracted to is amazing. Here's the truth of the situation. If you're not creating more options, the things that I'm sharing for, with you right now are going to be hard to pull off. Why? Because at some point your heart will say, man, but if I don't make this happen with this guy, then it's kind of like The Bachelor, this horrible TV show where there's one dude, supposedly an amazing prize, who gets to select among 24 women. I, I want to vomit when I hear something like that. That's not the truth of life. But if you put yourself in a situation where you don't have more options, you'll feel like that dude is your only choice. And I want you to find a different alternative because the light that you have inside of you, the experience that you have in life, the wisdom that you've gathered, uh, the sensuality you can create is worth a man getting to know, appreciate and love. Hope this is helpful, insightful and useful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. If you want to learn how to enter a relationship that's fulfilling without the need for running around in circles, I created a class for you, a training. And if you go to the first link in the description of this video, click on that, enter in an email, I'll immediately take you to the place where you can watch that class right away. If you like this video, click like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. And last but not least, if you've been watching my videos and the videos of others and you're still stuck and you know there's more than just the intellectual understanding of where you are in life and there's this disconnect between what you're getting here and what you're putting out from your heart into the world in action, then I might be able to help you. Second link on the description of this video will allow you to connect with me where we can find out if we're a fit to work together and if we are, I can hold your hand through the process and help you get there in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.